Welcome back to Who Would Win. Uh, today's Who Would Win comes to us from Daniel Bipot. Uh, Bipot, am I getting that right? Uh, anyway, Bipot. Uh, you asked a question, who would invite Gamera or, Gamera or Fire Rodan from the Heisei series? So, normal Rodan is around, is um, just standard Rodan. He flies supersonic speed. Fire Rodan is a version of Rodan that comes about in the Heisei series, where he basically is able to resurrect himself to try to save uh, Godzilla, maybe Godzilla Jr., who he considers like his brother, uh, tries to fight Godzilla, fails miserably, and then fuses his soul in, and essence and energy into um, Godzilla to give him the spiral, uh, red spiral death ray. So as Fire Rodan, his abilities do get uh, upped a bit, uh, if Super Sonic Speed Odyssey does have enhanced strength, obviously, it's, he's a giant reptilian bird. Um, uh, Super Sonic Speed, as I said, he's got um, some, uh, like, not barbs, but uh, uh, protrusions, like some claws, almost. Some spikes, that's, that's the term I was looking for. Spikes on his chest, they can be used for melee combat. He's dur He is fairly durable, but uh, he does get, one thing he gains is, like, a nuclear breath. Uh, it's, it's a breath of, like, radiation. <clears throat> so, he does have a kind of, like, similar atomic breath to, like, Godzilla a little bit. Gamera, obviously, has been the uh, forerunner of his own series for a long time. We haven't really had a new Gamera movie in a long time. Like, Godzilla is a lot more pop... Uh, okay, it, it's me, it might be me. For, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Godzilla's more popular than Gamera. Why, you may ask? Because they're still making Godzilla movies. They haven't made Gamera movies in some time. Like, well, let me... Let me get Gamera movies up here right now. Gamera. Uh, what was the last Gamera movie that was made? Uh, Gamera movies. Okay, uh, there we go. So, what was the last one that was made? The last Gamera movie that I can find that was made was in 2006 called Gamera the Brave. And that was the Heisei period of Gamera. That was Gamera's Heisei period. Uh, there was the Showa era. Back from the back from the 60s to 80s, uh, but mostly from 95 to 20, uh, 2006, uh, it, that was the Heisei era. It's been over 50, almost 15 years since the uh, <coughs> um, original Gamera. Uh, it's been a while. Um, so. Yeah, I'll say it. Godzilla's more popular because, I th and I think Godzilla just um, resonated a bit more with American and North uh, and just other areas, not just American, but you know other parts of the world aren't Japan. Whereas Gamera, being a giant turtle, it's I don't know. But anyway, Gamera's still the guardian of the earth. He's um, he's very large, very fast for a turtle, capable of flight, uh, capable of surviving in space. Capable of harnessing mana, energy from the atmosphere itself, breathe concentrated plasma, uh, is able to feast on plasma to recover his strength, fire a ultimate death beam himself from his chest, or destruction beam, uh, even to repair some of his uh, severed limbs with energy. Uh, he's very intelligent, capable of fighting multiple opponents at once if he has to, but he has been defeated before as well. And his ultimate defense, the shell, which is very powerful and durable, has been pierced before. But who would win the fight? Fire Rodan or Gamera? Uh, well, if these two men in combat, it'd be a mostly an aerial fight. And I'll tell you right now, I think Gamera wins this fight. Now, why does Gamera win this fight? Well, I had to look up the stats of uh, um, Rodan. And he's roughly like 70 meters tall with a wingspan of about 150 feet, uh, meters um, and weighing about 16 tons. And that's pretty big. But here's the thing. In the Gamera series, Gamera fights individual uh, uh, bird-like beings. One second. Called Gaios, I believe they're called. <clears throat> Might be mispronouncing it, but Gaios, uh, G-Y-A-O-S which are essentially Rodans. And I had to look up the size for those. And some of them get bigger than even Rodan does. Um, yeah, let me get those up again real quick. So Gaios. Now, the Gaios' size can range. It can. Uh, it all depends on basically like their era. But if we're going like at their biggest, height-wise, the biggest ones have been at 88 meters, which... Uh, like hyper, as the super and hyper ones are like 85 to 88. Your average one's about 60 meters tall. Well, maybe not average, but your average big one's 60 meters tall. But there are hyper and super forms for these guys. So 
the biggest ones can be are bigger than um, uh, Rodan lengthwise. For that's if that's referring to their wingspan, their wingspan again hyper and super farms arm trump uh, Rodans again, and then weight wise, honestly, even weight wise, even the small ones are um, uh, are uh, are bigger than. Uh, uh, Whoa, holy crap, wait a minute, am I reading that right? 20 metric tons, 60 metric tons, to 500 metric tons? Yeah, even the small ones outweigh Rodan. So that's like more weight concentrated onto a smaller object than a bigger object. So because Gamera has to fight these birds, these bird-like creatures um, uh, throughout, throughout most of the series that are pretty much the same thing, as Rodan in some regard, and I'm not, I know they're not the actual same thing, uh, but they there are in some they are in some regards the same kind of creature or similar creature to Rodan. Uh, I have to believe the fact that Gamera can handle those guys. He could handle Rodan. He could even if he go with the biggest version of Rodan we have. Let, I mean, and let's be clear, this is this is Fire Rodan from the original series, um, or from the Heisei series. If we go with the biggest version of Rodan we have, which I think uh let's see here godzilla king of the uh, wikizilla no um i think that gojipedia is that the one i want to go to uh let's see well give me the well give me the stats on the legendary godzilla uh i think height i think this is the right one i think no it's final wars what um want the legendary series here show uh uh, come on, give me Heisei, Showa, Millennium. Okay, you want to be okay? Let, let's. I gotta find. I gotta go to a different spot, but I do want. I do want to um, uh, bring a MonsterVerse. That's what I'm looking for. MonsterVerse, a Grodan. Okay, MonsterVerse, Rodan. We go by the biggest um versions we have hypothetically. Okay, you're not. As much as I like the fact you're actually giving me feet for a change, that doesn't translate. I, I need meters for a change, which is... Oh, well, hold on. Meters to feet. Or feet to meters. Feet to meters. All right. So feet to meters. If I were to say how tall uh, this big big guy is, uh, in terms of height, he's 154 feet, which translates, roughly speaking, into 46 meters. So even the original versions of Rodan are bigger than this guy. What the hell? Like, they, they make an effort to, uh, they make an effort to show that the MonsterVerse monsters, uh, versions of a lot of the monsters, like Godzilla, MonsterVerse version of Godzilla is much larger than most of its uh, original counterparts, or former counterparts. The only ones that aren't as, there are at least as tall or larger are Godzilla Earth and Shin Godzilla almost is as tall, I think. He might be even a little taller, but, uh, that, uh, MonsterVerse has more mass. Like, weight-wise, he's... Okay, 39 tons. Okay, that is a lot. All right, so this guy definitely outweighs the majority of these guys. By this guy's actually uh, over almost triple the weight of uh, of uh, Fire Rodan. Makes sense too. And a wingspan of 871 feet. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty big wingspan. So overall, he is technically larger. He's just not as tall, which is weird. But even if we lose the largest version of Rodan we have, which I guess you can make the argument is this version. <clears throat> he's durable. He's got basically like um, almost like tectonic scales that help him like give him heat resistance and stuff like that. Um, he has geothermal armor and size due to his ge uh, or excuse me, geothermal armor and size. He shrugs off bolts and hibernates inside dormant volcanoes for millennia. He will stand the full force of Ghidorah's gravity beams and push him into the ocean. Even after Mothra stings him and stabs him in the sternum, he's merely incapacitated. He's very, very durable. Um... <clears throat> And very large and very aggressive. But, this guy doesn't have a fire breath. He doesn't have anything except melee combat. I'm fully ca uh, confident in believing that Gamera would take this guy on too and beat him. Now, do I think he'd beat like uh, some other kaiju? G Gamera fighting other like Godzilla kaiju is a different story. We'd have to we'd have to literally put him up against all of them. Um, and there's definitely some that he could not. I don't think Gamera could beat. Like I, It's arguable if he could beat Ghidorah, though he might. I highly doubt he could beat Destroya. Um, uh, Hedera would actually be a very difficult opponent for him. Like, he, Godzilla struggled with Hedera, too. <coughs> so, I mean, Biolante would... Ooh, Biolante would be an interesting one. Though I think uh, uh, Gamera being able to breathe 
fire, a plasma, would definitely give it an advantage over Ga uh, Biollante. There's a lot of monsters in the Godzilla repertoire that Ga Gamera could beat, but there's also some that Gamera could not beat. But I digress. So, my thoughts on this, Gamera beats Fire Rodan pretty wholeheartedly. Like, there's very... Like, yes, they're the natural enemy. Uh, those guys are the natural enemy of Gamera, but he still ends up managing to beat them. So he'd probably be able to, on a one-on-one -on -one fight, take on Fire Rodan. At least that's my opinion. Uh, but what do you think? you think uh, Gamera could actually lose to Fire Rodan and lose the majority of the fights? Or do you think that Fire Rodan just gets his butt kicked by Gamera? Kind of like I think. Let me know in the comments below. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. And ideas for who would win, Star Wars, Super Mario, Magic, what if anything to do with the channel, put that in the comments below as well. I'll get to that at some point. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Have a good